All right, so we are going to now move on to, if you, you get that handed in. So remember, 91, page 91 in your manual is your homework for tomorrow. And that is just a one-page deal. There's nothing on the back side. See that? Is that the way you guys have in your manual as well? And mine is empty. Yes, today we don't have Yes, this is your homework for today. On here, 91. So we are going to work on page 93 and 94 together because it is I'm going to use just one glass and vary the water with the one glass. Who remembers what this is called? Does this, does this measure volume or, ma or uh, solid? Jeremiah. Volume. Yes. Do you remember what it's called? When she... Not a measuring cup. Jonathan. Container. Well, it's a, Mrs. Reed's mind just went blank. A cylinder, it's a cylinder. What's that? Silicone. Silicone? No, cylinder. It is a cylinder. <laughs> Silicone. I love that. That's awesome. It is a cylinder that has measurements on it. Remember on your test, it had one like this. In fact, oh, yours was at 250. Who can tell me what the measurement is on this? Where is the water? I'll walk around and then you guys can raise your hand if you want to answer it down. Okay. What is it? What is the measurement that I have in this cup or in the cylinder? Olivia. Close. Jeremiah. 350 what? Milliliters. There's a little ML right there. So there we go. So it says, what is a hypothesis? What is a scientific hypothesis? It says in your manual on page 93. So the problem is, how does the amount of air in a jar affect its pitch? 
the jar with blank amount of air will have a higher pitch. So do you think more air or less air? That is your hypothesis. What is a hypothesis? Jonathan. A guess? Yes, so make a guess. What is your guess? More air or less air is going to make the pitch higher. So I'm going to put 350, see if I can get 350 milliliters in this cup. No. So we're going to start. So, friends, I have, it wants me to have 100, so I'm going to pour out yet some more. Yet some more. Yeah. All right, this is 100 milliliters of water. Now, listen closely until I get it going. And the suspense rises. I think we'll have to wait for hours. It worked so quickly when I experimented with it today, this morning. I wonder if I have too much oil on my hands. Let's try it again. Because remember, I can't have any oils of any sort on my fingers because what is causing the friction, friends, on my finger pad? The what? The print, the imprint that I have on my finger is causing the friction. So let's try it again. We're not. <laughs> Why is it not working? There you go. It's going to work. I can feel it. Maybe. Wow. It worked so well this morning. I wonder. more water in it and see if that makes a difference and then a little bit less. I shouldn't make a difference. Come on. I can't believe it. Alright, we'll get it working. Hang in there. Be patient. Don't you remember Fridays? Oh, page 93. I don't know why it's not working. There's absolutely nothing working. I don't know, friends. It does not want to work. I don't get it. Well, if we remember from the science experiment on Friday, who remembers what was what, what had the lower pitched sound? More water or less water? Jonathan. Praise God. Thank you. <laughs> so it's still not working very well. All right. Let's give it a try. Oh, there we go. For some reason, it didn't want to work. So I'm going to put 100 milliliters in there. And we're going to start. Okay, so actually, I'll start with 50. So here's 50 milliliters of water. So on, pa on page 93, your first says draw a line. I'm not going to draw a line. So I have 50 milliliters of water. All right, so that is your first. Kind of, it's 
not very good. I don't think there's enough water in it. There you go. So weird that it's not working. So let's put another 50 in there for to get the 100 and see if that changes anything. So here's 100. Don't get it. All right, let's try it again. I brought this glass specifically because it worked wondrous before, and now it's not doing anything. I don't understand. All right, so. Glass is making me work today. I even worked with it this morning and it worked great. For some reason, it doesn't want to work, friends. I don't get it. So, I'm going to try it again. I don't know if something might crack, is it? No, so it's cracked, it, although there's a lot of water coming out of it. I'm wondering if I cracked it. And would that cause it to not work? All right. Absolutely does not want to work. Can you guys remember Friday? This glass was like the, the, the rock star. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it like worked so well. And this one, now it's not working. It's so weird. The stage fright. I just don't, I don't understand what's going on. It's so bizarre. And this morning when I tested it, it worked perfect. Was your dog scared? Yeah, my cat was. She didn't like it. Oh. What's wrong? Not yet, I can't get any to work. <laughs> so, I worked and then now it's not working again. It is so weird. I think it's scared of you. I just think this is so strange. Well, it works, it's loud, but it's not working. I don't understand why it's not working. It doesn't. It's very odd. It worked this morning before I packed it up. It worked beautifully on Friday. I'm just going to put more in and see if I can get it to, just to work. This is a dud. Oh. So. It's not working the way it was barely working. I'm wondering if I just need to wipe the whole thing down. There's soap in it maybe. We're going to try everything available, friends, to make this work. But, so in your manual, you have milliliters and do you have anything written down and those are yours? No, you don't. So, let's try it again. 50. I have a feeling it may not work just because there's not enough water. Okay, so maybe there was soap in there. So I washed it. So that's high. Is it not high or low? So on A, write 50 milliliters. 50? Yep. A. On A, right here, write 50 milliliters. That's what I have right here, it's 50. Mm -hmm. On one, 
draw, I'm not going to draw a line, but this is 50 milliliters. That's how much water I have in there now. 50 milliliters. Not very good. So it's high. So that's what the 50 milliliters sounds like, okay? That's 50. Now I'm going to add another 50 to get 100. So write 100 in B. So this is 100 milliliters. Is it going to be... So which one had the higher pitch? The 50 or the 100? Which had the higher pitch? This is the 100. You can circle which one you think has the higher pitch. Circle the jar that has the higher pitch. Do you want me to put the 50 on again? Now it's working. I wonder if there was soap on it. That's it's such a drastic change. <laughs> like, what is happening? <laughs> so 50. Not a huge change. Is this lower or higher than the 50? It's a little lower, not a lot, a little lower. So circle the one that you think is lower. Well, now it's working beautifully. It's like it was doing it on Friday. Sing it away. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to add 150 milliliters of water. And let's see what that does. So we are, no, we are not on, we are not on, we're on number three. Number three. So before we were at 100 and now we're at 150. So it says, add 150 millimeters to the jar, underline the jar that you predict will have a lower sound. Ooh, that's, so you, instead of, I don't know where you're supposed to underline the jar. So just, is this lower or higher than in 100? Lower. So just on three, write lower, L-O-W-E-R, lower. So 150 is lower than 100. Number three. So that's quite a bit lower. That's just 50 milliliters more. That's quite a bit lower. So let's add, so now we're on page, on number four. So I'm going to do, much. So this is how much more than the last one. What was the last measurement I did? How many milliliters? Ella. So I'm doing 200. So how much more is that? Cool. 50 more. We're in increments of 50, friends. So we're going to add 50 more. This is 200. Woo! It's almost going to overflow. So, hypothesis, lower or higher than the last one, 150. Lower, higher? It is lower. Now, it's not like a ginormous change. 
It's a very, it's only 50 millimeters different, but it is lower. So here is 200. Now I'm going to do 100. So we're going to add, this is quite a bit less. So is this going to be higher or lower? That's your hypothesis? Lower. Ooh, that's a lot higher. So that is 100. So circle the jar that has the higher pitch. Is it 200 or 100? What was higher, 200 or 100? You circle the one that you think has the higher pitch. We're on number Okay, so let's turn the page. Conclusions, how did the amount of air, so when I have, whoops, 100, this is 100 milliliters of water. So this, I'm gonna add 100 more. So look at 100. This is 200. Which one has more air in the glass? 100 or 200? Which one has more air? So how do I determine where the air is? Where there's no water, correct? So which one has more air? Jonathan. 100? Yes. So on, Number one on page 94. How did the amount of air affect the amount of water in the jars? It's a very odd question. How did the amount of air affect the amount of water in the jar? Oh, okay, well, it's, it's like so simple, it's, it's hard. If there's more water in the jar, is there less or more air in the jar? Yes. So this has, this is 200 milliliters. I dumped about 100 out. So how, who has, which one has more air? This one, right? Because there's less water. So your answer should be at some point the air, if there's more air, there's less, there's more, if there's more air, there is less water, right? The less water you have, the more air you have in your cup. So is there a lot of air in this cup? Friends, look at this cup. Is there a lot of air in this cup? Yeah. Why? When Sheen? There's no, hardly any water, if any, a few drops. So technically, this is full of air. Okay? So your answer should be something to the effect, more water, less air, for number one. So on the first page, you all made a hypothesis. Was your hypothesis correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Then you can write yes or no. What was your hypothesis? The more water, which means less air, the higher or lower the pitch? Winsheen? Yes. So the less air in the glass, the lower the pitch. More air, higher the pitch. So how, on pi yes, oh. What, what are you writing number one again? Uh, 
Um, more air, more water in the jar, less air. The so more air, or so less, if, the, if you have le less water, you have more air. If you have more water, you have less air. So how can you make the pitch in the jar lower? How did I make the pitch lower in my cup? Owen. I put in more water. That's right. More water. So if there's more water, is there more air or less air? How could you make it higher? Yeah. Less water? Yeah. How does the amount of air that vibrates affect the pitch of the sound? Hmm. So here's the deal. If there is more water, how does that affect the vibration? Does, it, does the water absorb or not? So the pitch is lower when the air is vibrating. So the higher the pitch with less air. So we are doing it more with water. So the more the water, the lower the pitch, which means what with the vibration? So the pitch is lower when there is more air. The air is vibrating and the higher when less air is vibrating. So the air affects the vibration. So the pitch is lower when, the, when more air is vibrating and is higher when there's less, when, when there's more, or higher when there's less vibrating. So you do not have to turn that in because we did it in class, okay? This was a class project. There's no need to turn it in because we did it together. So you can keep that in your, so you don't have to hand anything in. Oh, you handed that in today, the One Science page. So tomorrow, we are going to, you're going to do 991. So let me just check, yeah which is the elephant playing the violin with the mouse. This is what you are doing for tomorrow's homework, okay? Everybody got that? Yeah, we're doing that for tomorrow's homework. That is tomorrow's homework. That is, yeah, that is tomorrow's homework. All right. That is, I'm gonna, that concludes science.